you know, um, ever since I did the uh, cadet, I think behind bars one and two or some shit, I knew this motherfucker was nice with that storytelling shit, you know, I knew he was nice with it, and then y'all niggas hit me up in the comment section like, yo, you gotta do Letter to Craft, and Craft Letter to Cadet, Final Letter, you gotta do the whole series, so I was like, alright, fuck it, say less, I'm gonna get onto it, so here it is, Cadet, Letter to Craft, R.I.P. Cadet, R.I.P. a real one, live forever, live free, let's go, my nigga, let's see what he's talking about. in college but I never made it into the second year when I never heard she was cheating and I was trying to figure out like it was blues clues but then you was friends with a guy hold on hold on hold on mm, he's getting to some deep shit you know so Kraft is Cadet's cousin is what I'm getting right through cousin and shit and he's like reaching out but I think he's probably gonna let me know but what's the whole situation between Kraft and Cadet just let me know down in the comment section below like the whole history and shit just so he can help me out you feel me let's get back to it what you say about your girl, homie? She cheating? Hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. My college is kind of when the shit went past. See, I found my wife in college. Uh -huh. But I never made it into the second year when I never heard she was cheating. Oh, hell and no. I was trying to figure her out like it was blues clues. Mm. But then you was friends with a guy she was beating. I kind of felt like you let her get moved to. Find out like blues clues. That was nice. I like that he put that in there. But I never made it into the second year when I never heard she was cheating. And I was trying to figure her out like it was blues clues. But then you was friends with a guy she was beating. I kind of felt like you let her get moved to. Cause I felt snaked. But I never said that. I never opened my mouth. Cause maybe it's true. never knew. You know you're my cousin. You get the benefit of the doubt. Now imagine how gas granddad would be. Oh, shit. So his girl's cheating on, the, on him with this nigga. But the nigga she's cheating on him with is actually his cousin Krebs' homie. They tight and shit. And he's like, yo, I feel snaked. Oh, that's... Oh my God, that's some shit. I mean, I understand why Krebs... Well, not Krebs. Cadet would feel like he being played and shit because that's his girl, you his cousin. That's your mate. That's your homie. But should they give me the heads up, bro? Like, the benefit of the doubt, my nigga. Let's go. Let her get moved to cause I, I feel snaked mm -hmm. But I never said no, I never opened my mouth Cause maybe it's, you never knew You know you're my cousin, you get the benefit of the doubt Now imagine True. how gas granddad would be See now some stage we were meant to be But it hasn't been an easy boy Man, it's been like chapters on the first one of jealousy Well, well maybe not jealousy But that word should give you an idea of the drift And she said we'd be first cousins on the CFG music They're always comparing the kid like everywhere I go Everybody saying something, why don't you bring you in it? Like a nigga, they were young and got me bugging Got me feeling that the love is awful And they used to, I should have been a paranormal Now I found that time, time I went from being cadet to Krebs cousin and see Yeah, I was kicking this off because I felt shit But never said nothing and I now we ain't spoken in months And even advice I can't ask the kid Because I remember your WhatsApp status saying Don't chat to me if you're going to Damn, it's kind of like they had a little falling out and shit. And the way he said it, like his name switched from Cadet to Krebs cousin, and he hated that whole scenario and how it played out and shit. But it's like, yo, I still held it down for you, bro. Like, even when your name was brought up, I was ready to bang on whoever for talking sweet about you, bro. Like, I still fuck with you heavy. That's crazy. That's deep. But it's a lot of, like, confliction in between there. You can tell, like, it's it's crazy when it's family. It's crazy when it's somebody who's really close, especially family. You hate the nigga, but you still got to show love and shit. It's, it's, it's a complicated situation, but... 
that's one way I still bang you in your face if you're talking about crack. But I guess the blame ain't on you, cause not once I pick up the phone and phone you. I'm happy that you're doing your thing, but it's a reminder of all the shit I don't do. So when your videos were hitting a mill, I was still taking bets up and really in hill. Now the jealousy's gone cause it's dumb to feel. And the second chapter is where the hunger spills, see? The second chapter is called Hunger. hunger. And this uh -huh. is when the shit gets pee, cause it's, it's when I stopped watching you when I, and I started watching me, but I'm still mm. eating like uh -huh. a Parked up listening to Argy Fargo. And the one time you brought me to wireless was exactly the kick I needed in the arsehole, cause you chose me by over the man, like, even though we ain't spoken long to him. Well, last year after you sent the invite, thought you was gonna say my bad one combo. Then you on stage, stage. It was me, you, and Killer Cone. I was the last one to come off stage, bro, cause up there, man, I felt like home, and I swear mm. since that moment, moment. Serious. That's deep. I was the last one to come off stage because when I was up there, it felt more at home. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's deep, though. That's deep. Damn, man, I felt like home, and I swear since that moment, moment, moment. I took shit serious. So I'm sorry if you'd quit the news, quit the food. A man them thought I would deliver. You see, I would go car park, by bars, leave the engine on, and then somehow fall asleep. Wake up with a dead battery, get jump started, and then a same night go repeat. I'm oh. waiting now that I ain't even got a car. Cause both the battery and the engine's gone, but at least now I'm chasing the dream. And it felt like a waste of man in long. And the third chapter's called Love. love. Ain't no soft shit, ain't no need for boohoo's. Uh -huh. When I started loving myself, then I could love you like I used to, got tired. I've been a waste of my life, I've been a when I started loving myself, like I loved you. When I started loving myself more, it helped me love you like I you. Crazy, that's deep, that's deep. I put a print, I man I got tired. I come to music events, then if I can ask me for a print. Man I got tired. Uh huh. I got tired of feeling like I ain't gonna win. And you ever got tired, tired of telling me niggas that I don't know why you don't wanna bring a nigga in see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm just glad that I'm in the same race. And the dream is. Yo, did Crept kind of like cock block him or some shit from like coming into the rap game and shit? Like, did he not help him come up and shit? Like, I know that's the vibe I'm getting, you know? Like, he really had to push to get to where he's at, but Crept could have given him like a extension of a hand. Like, yo, I got you and helped him out, but he did it. I don't know, man. Like, let me know, ye. You're my left lung and there ain't no more place in you. And P.S. I'll still bang everybody in the face for you, man. I love you. You know I love you. That's deep. That's deep. You know I love you. You know I love you. You know I love you. See, you're my cousin. You both came from nothing. You both call me son. You know, even the fact that for the ending, like the at the end of the verse, he's like, you know, I love you. You know, I love you. Like, it takes a lot to be that kind of vulnerable, especially to another man. Like, you think it's that easy just because you're family, but it's not easy to look at somebody else, like a cousin or brother and be like, I love you. I love you. You know, that type of shit. It's not easy. It takes a lot. It, it, it must really come from a pure and genuine place for you to be able to say that. Like that and that many times, so shouts out to Kadeff for that man. He keeping it a buck. Let's go. Yo, Kazi. Yo, Kazi. Nah, just a quick man. I just want to say I love you, man. Get me more emotional on that man. So I <laughs> like I said it It's not easy Like a lot of niggas Don't know how to react When they get that Like <laughs> This motherfucker's like Yo what you talking about <laughs> Is that down? That's lit That's lit This was deep, man. This was deep. And even just the fact that he actually wrote this shit out, you know, and put it out there for everybody to see and listen to, it's like big ups to you, bro. I mean, life's too fucking short to have regrets about what you could have said or 
to be acting all tough for no fucking reason. Like, oh, I'm a gangster, I'm G, I can't be saying this type of shit. Like, nah, my nigga, life's too fucking short. Show love, show appreciation, keep it 100 every fucking chance you get. Because Cadet's not here with us anymore, you know? I don't know if crap is, but if he is, this is all he has of Cadet. You know, that's all he has. And I, if I was crap, my nigga, I'd probably be bumping this shit every, every chance I get. Because it's like, yo, this motherfucker was showing me hella love, but he's gone now and this is all I have of him. You know, the memories and the music and shit. So, you know, you treasure that shit. But with, why not do that shit when he's actually alive? You feel me? When he's alive, show him that same love too. It's not just a one-way street. It's a two-way. Reciprocate. You feel me? But Cadet, Letter to Crap, I fuck with it. I feel it. Uh, I know Crap's got a reply, so I'm going to get straight to that. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. I'm going to catch you on the next one. You feel me? This is